In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can prove that a line is a tangent to a parabola. So we're going to start with the big ideas that you're going to need to be able to do this. So we're starting with a parabola. And on that parabola, if we have a tangent, we will have a line that touches at one point and one point only. If it touched at two points, it would be intersecting. If it didn't touch at all, it would definitely not be a tangent because it's not even touching the parabola. So one of our key conditions for it being a tangent is that it meets at one point and one point only. Our second condition is that it has to be a y value and only one y value in which the equation of the line and the equation of the parabola are equal. So we get the y equals equation for the parabola and set that equal to the y equals equation for the line. And they must be equal at one point. So that tells us that there is one solution to that y equals y equation. So you set the line equation equal to the parabola equation. And when you solve that, there is one and only one solution. You would, of course, solve that with the discriminant equation from the quadratic formula, your b squared minus 4ac equals 0. And if that comes to exactly 0, that's telling you that it is, in fact, a tangent. If it comes to a different number, it's telling you either that it's not touching the line if it's less than or if it's greater than, it's telling you that it's intersecting in two points. In both of those cases, is going to not be a tangent. So let's look at a worked example and see how you would do this in practice. So the question is, is the line y equals 6x plus 1 a tangent to the curve with equation y equals x squared plus 4x plus 2? And so we start with our y equals y. And this is very simple. We just set our equation here equal to our equation here. So we're saying that those two must be equal at one y value if there is a tangent. So we get that expression. That's just setting the two things equal to each other. We do a simple rearrangement to get an equation equal to zero. You must get equal to zero because you're not going to be able to use your quadratic formula discriminant without having equal zero. It doesn't work. So we've got the 6x. We'll subtract that to the other side. And so that plus 4 will reduce to a minus 2 term. And this plus 1, we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. And that plus 2 is going to become a plus 1. So we end up with that. That's simply rearranging that equation to get equals 0. Our next step is to compare that to the general equation. So we've got ax squared plus bx plus c. That is the general equation for any quadratic. And we can simply compare coefficients. So we've got no number there. So that's telling us that a is going to be 1. We've got a minus 2 in front of the x. So b is going to be minus 2. We've got a plus 1. So plus c is going to be plus 1. So we can say that a is 1, b is minus 2, and c is 1. We then have our discriminant formula, and we're predicting that if this is a tangent, so if this statement is true, um, that this line is in fact a tangent to that curve, we'll have the condition that this statement is true, that b squared minus 4ac does equal 0. If it doesn't equal 0, then 6x plus 1 is not a tangent to this line. So we substitute our values of a, b, and c in like so, and you can see that minus 2 squared is 4, minus, and that's all going to multiply out to 4, and so you get that 0 equals 0, and therefore that has proved that this must be a tangent. So we kind of assumed that it was a tangent when we made this statement, and we've proved that that is in fact true. So hopefully you can now show that a line is in fact a tangent or not, and thank you very much for watching.